Hello everyone, welcome to make to explore channel. First of all, thank you to all our subscribers, viewers, and supporters. In this session, we are going to see a new project. Face recognition based gate or door entry system. This system will open the gate only when authorized person is detected on camera. We will use Raspberry Pi 4 development board, Python programming, deep learning techniques. We will also use different computer vision libraries. So without any delays, let's get started. Wondering about how it will work? Let's see the detailed functional block diagram of this project. Here is the block diagram of the project. Raspberry Pi 4 is interfaced with camera, RFID reader, LCD display, buzzer, two-channel relay board, gate locks and servo motor to open and close the gate. All these blocks. We will use RFID as first level of access. So, there will be a RFID cards, or tags, which we will first registered and given to users. This will be done in initial RFID coding. These are just for some basic level of authentication. And to invoke the camera system, whenever user comes at gate. Okay, now let's see how the system will work. Suppose. When any user places RFID card on the reader, if that card is valid, then Raspberry Pi will greet that user by showing some messages on LCD display. Also, it prompts user to look at the camera. Then it also turns on the relay 1, first lock, indicating that, valid RFID detected. Then it will give command, to turn on the camera. To provide live feed of the user's face. Here comes image processing and computer vision part. This project's programming is implemented in three stages. One is data collection, second is training, and, third is recognition, means, authentication. In data collection part, we will make dataset of valid users' face images by capturing face snapshots of authorized users with different angles. After that, we will put those images in dataset folder with separate folder for each authorized user. In second stage, we will train the system to recognize correct faces. And finally, in recognition part, we will recognize valid authorized user on live camera feed. Here, RFIDs will be linked to particular users. Means, their names will be linked with their face IDs and RFIDs, uniquely. Hence, users have to use only their personal RFIDs to unlock the gator door. Now suppose, in this case, if user is valid or authorized, then system detects it. And, shows its status on LCD screen. Subsequently, it turns on the relay 2, second level lock, and, move the servo motor to open the gate. This is about one case. Now, let's see another case. Here, user will place RFID card. Will be then greeted on LCD screen. Same procedure will be followed, as we have seen earlier, then camera will start feeding live video to Raspberry Pi. Here, suppose, if user is not authorized, or, any intruder is using unregistered RFID card, and trying to unlock, then system will identify that, also, face recognizer will identify invalid user. And user will get denied entry, buzzer will starts buzzing. Here, we can also implement push email notification system, and, recording system, means, it will take photo or video record of that intruder, and send it to the administrator. Gate will not open until, and unless user has valid RFID and face ID. In this way, this project will work. All right. So, this was all about functional block diagram and theoretical working of the project. Now, let's move to the hardware section of this project and see schematic or circuit diagram of the project. Here is the one. Let me give you brief description of all the connections here. So, you can see all wiring connections are in color coding. Hence, you can easily track them. You will get this schematic on our GitHub page. Let's see about the hardware components included. Here is the Raspberry Pi 4, Model B, 2GB version. To which this Logitech C270 webcam is connected. This is 16 by 2 LCD. To reduce the pin requirements, 
we have used this i2c based serial adapter module to connect this display it uses the pcf8574 tic chip which converts i2c serial data to parallel data for the lcd it requires only four pins to control this display using this i2c module lcd is powered with 5 volts from this mb102 breadboard power converter module this module converts 9 volt battery or usb power supply to two power rails 5 volts and 3.3 volts you can see here this is logic level converter module it is required since raspberry pi pins works with 3.3 volts logic level and this i2c module and this RFID reader module works with 5 volts logic level. So, we cannot connect 5 volts directly to Raspberry Pi's any input pin. Hence, to avoid any pin damages, it is recommended to use this bi-directional level shifter device, which takes care of logic levels. This is two-channel relay board. We will utilize both channels. Here is loads, you can connect solenoid locks or motors. Then next, here is the piezo buzzer module. And this is SG90 servo motor. PWM controlled servo motor. Here, this is EM18 RFID reader module, which is used to read RFID tags of frequency 125 kHz. This is high resolution image, you can download it from our GitHub. Even you can zoom it to further, like this, to get clearer view of each connections. Please note that, if you want to replicate this project on your desk, then you have to set up following things as a prerequisite. 1. Install OpenCV and other required libraries and dependencies. For Python, you can use pip package manager and install packages like OpenCV, face recognition, imutils, etc. NCNN is a high-performance neural network inference computing framework which is optimized for mobile platforms. It is computationally efficient. We have also programmed this project in C++. It requires installation of code blocks IDE in Raspberry Pi. Also, we need to install OpenCV from its source by building and making, etc. It is quite tedious and comprehensive time-taking process. So, we will not cover that in this video, but we will share the CPP project code on our GitHub if anyone wants to program this project in C++. After that, in next prerequisite, you need to enable and set up the serial port where RFID reader module is going to be connected. So you can read the RFID codes through UART. For that, we recommend to use PL011 UART instead of mini UART. The PL011 UART controller is not linked to the VPU core frequency. This means that the baud rate stays the same regardless of VPU speed. The PL011 UART controller also includes other features not present in the mini UART controller such as framing error detection, break detection, receive timeout interrupts and parity bit support. So you need to swap the UART. By default, the mini UART is mapped to the TXD pin. GPIO 14 and RXD pin GPIO 15 on the 40 pin GPIO header. PL011 UART is used for the Bluetooth or wireless module. But either module can be mapped to the GPIO port. To use PL011 UART, you need to disable the Bluetooth. You can do this using Raspi config setup mode or from command line. We have explained all these above procedure in our detailed tutorial video, where we have also explained how to interface EM18 RFID reader with Raspberry Pi. Please check out that video. Link is given the in description, as well as an i button given above. Ok, then next, for servo motor, to avoid jittering effect. Use Pi GPIO library. This library utilizes hardware-based timing and sampling, rather than software, which is used in wiring Pi library. It features hardware timed PWM and servo pulses on all of GPIO 0 to 31. This is all about software and hardware setup of this project. Now, let's see actual implementation and demo. In demo, first, 
we need to create dataset of authorized users' face images. For that, on Raspberry Pi, let's first go to Project Source Code folder. Here, we need to create folder named Dataset. If it already not there, like this, then here is the Python script. Make datasets.py. Open it in Thony IDE. Here you can see this script is for capturing images for making dataset. Here is the variable for name. In the dataset folder, create folders with the name of users whom you want to authorize to unlock the system. In these names folder, face snapshots of those users taken with different angles will be stored as database. These are necessary in training part, where we will train this system to recognize only authorized persons on live camera feed. Here in program, you can replace this value of variable name as per user's names, and then create another folder in dataset folder with same name. Now, let's run this script of capturing dataset images. Here you have to press space key to capture the snapshot from the live video stream. Capture face images with different angles. If we train this with more number of images, we'll get enough higher accuracy during recognition. Train at least 30 different face images for each user. OK, here in dataset folder, for user PA, all the snapshots will get saved, like these. OK, now let's train the system model. For that, run this train model Python script. Open it in Thony IDE and run it. This will process each and every face image, serialize the objects, and encodings.pickle model file will get created. All right, now let's see our main code. Face recognition security system. Open it in Thony IDE. Here is the code, we will share this code on GitHub. You can see, we have loaded pickle file model here in code. OK, now, let's see demo of this project. Where you will see this system successfully recognize authorized person and subsequently open gator door. So, in this way, we have completed this project. We are also planning some more RPI4 OpenCV based projects. Like, pose estimation, object detection, gesture controlled automation, etc. Stay tuned for more updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating this project, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or, you can also send us email, at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.